Hi all, hope you are doing well. I welcome you to watch my third episode of Home Theatre Setup. In my last two videos, I have identified top 5 subwoofers and top 3 5.2 AV receivers. Now, what is required to set up your dream home theatre is speakers, which would help you to serve merge in an ultimate auditory experience. If you have not watched my previous videos, here is the i button. You may click to watch them. Hello and welcome to Tech Talk 2021. My name is Swamijit. I generally make comparison videos of Bluetooth speakers, home theaters, smart TVs for you, which may help you to identify right products. Before I start with the video, let me request you to subscribe to my channel, like the video, click on the i button to get notification of my upcoming videos and also comment for suggestions and queries. In this video, I'm gonna talk about only tower speakers in my favorite list. This is for those who would like to have two tower speakers in front, right and front left or only stereo setup for an ultimate music listening experience. The speakers, those are identified which would have balanced sound, those would not make you feel exhausted or irritated even on high volume. Tower speaker starts from a premium brands from 20,000 rupees and it has no end. This list would help you to see top 5 speakers if you have a tight budget. Now the question is why to spend so much money on a pair of speakers? What benefit I would get out of it? when the same price can help me to buy multiple budget 5.1 complete home theatre system in a box. The answer is simple. A good pair of speakers would have a better sound stage, a better detail, more composed and balanced sound. In this video, the speakers you would see, those speakers would not make you feel fatigue after long hour of listening. The first speaker in my list is Pioneer SPF-S52, designed and engineered by Andrew Jones. These 130 watt speakers offer extraordinary performance and remarkable sonics quality to deliver a piece of fantastic music and home theater experience. This set of speakers incorporate three high performance 5.25 inch woofer with oversized magnet for powerful bass and one inch high efficiency soft dome tweeter with a custom waveguide for superior high frequency reproduction. With true curved cabinet design, these floor standing speakers are not only aesthetically pleasing but also sound a class apart. With three way best reflex design and high sensitivity, these floor standing speakers are designed by Andrew Jones to deliver an audiophile grade performance at an affordable price point. You can use them as a standalone stereo music system or part of multi-channel setup for an immersive experience in your home theater system. The Pioneer SPFS52 floor standing speakers feature a curved cabinet design that not only makes the speakers aesthetically pleasing but also significantly enhances the listening experience. Special care has been taken to incorporate a stiffer design to reduce standing sound waves inside the cabinet. The elegant and appealing speaker grill protect the speakers and removable if you prefer to see the drivers exposed. Based on feedback received from the users, the speaker height is increased by 3 inches in comparison to the predecessors. The result is an improved sound quality due to speaker being close to the ear level. Whatever your system or audio source may be, this floor standing speaker are ready to bring an immersive listening experience. The second one is Yamaha NS F160. This speaker comes equipped with two-way, three-speaker design and a thick cabinet which helps provide rich bass with natural vocal and dialogue. Moreover, due to the use of superior speaker unit, it achieves excellent response and clarity throughout the entire range. Has a special features, it has an extra large screw type terminal that are gold plated to ensure maximum signal transmission efficiency. The speaker arsenal is presented with a 30mm dome tweeter and 260mm drivers, responsible for medium and low frequencies. The large bass reflex port faced forward which simplifies deployment of speakers relative to the wall and furnishing. Despite the user of the three drivers, the speaker system is two-way in design. Nominal impedance of the speaker is 6 ohm, 
most modern amps works well with a similar load the only thing we must remember in that many amplifier and receivers are set to the default 8 ohm load so you need to switch the selector to the desired position or set this option from a menu loudspeaker are endowed with magnetic shielding so that fans of the old CRT displays will not be afraid for the quality of the picture. The sound of Yamaha NSF160 has a pronounced cinematic character. Treble and upper bass are emphasized, which is usually done in the films themselves by the sound engineers for a more spectacular sound experience. Twitter does not battle even in the high volume. Even you would be able to even hear all the instrument clearly. Sound level from 50 to 75 decibel is really enjoyable and won't make you feel fatigued. Sound is very grounded and textural, may not that firmest, but little bit of cabinet resonance makes the bass feel larger. The mid range is warm, which is not soft, rather which has very good presence and the high frequency has a high extension and attention to detail. Overall, it is good buy as Yamaha speaker performance may not be razor sharp, but it creates a wide sound field. The third product in my list is JBL Arena 180. Unlike the predecessors, unusual and striking looks, JBL has designed the new Arena range using a completely com conventional style, more in the same vein as the ES series. While this in itself is not wrong, many consumers often demand instinct recognition and a clear visual separation of the brand. And too ordinary appearance may deter some of from buying. However, despite lacking any visual impressive impact, a more detailed examination reveals finally made side panel with rounded edges. The sides are finished with a very good natural wood imitation in black, while the rest of the cabinet is in matte black. The Arena speakers are also available in white. Apart from the rounded edges, the speaker cabinet is characterized by flat surfaces tapered to the rear and the top, which is angled downwards. In addition to being nice looking, this also helps to reduce standing waves inside the cabinet. We could not find the information on the thickness and how cabinet is built and structured, but by measuring the side, we are guessing it to be a bit more than half an inch. The front panel and the speaker drivers can be covered by using the included cloth grille, leaving you with a black column interrupted only by the silver accent on the grille and JBL logo. Removing the grille shows a set of three drivers in a TMM, which is Twitter mid range mid range configuration, with a one inch textile dome tweeter on top. The tweeter is placed in a large HDI high definition imagine web guide, which is according to JBL. Inspired by JBL's own M2 master reference monitor, below the tweeter are two mid-range woofers with a diameter of 7 inches and membrane of polycellulose. And the cutoff frequency is set to 2.1 kHz. The setup gives the Arena 180 a frequency range of 39 Hz to 40 kHz with a sensitivity of 88 dB and a normal impedance of 8 ohm. In terms of positioning, Arena 180 proved to be no different than most other similar close standing speakers of similar size and price. Because of the best reflex port in the back, the speaker needs some distance from the back wall. And it is a good idea to place them at least a couple of feet from the side of the wall as well. When it comes to connecting the speaker cables, the Arena 180 are equipped with very good terminals with gold plated bindings and solid plastic screws. The terminals are single wire and can take bare wire, spades and banana connectors. JBL is known for building really good rock speakers and we guess the Arena 180 falls into this category as it does not handle more subtle music equally well. It kind of lives up to its name, this is be somewhat mitigate by matching it with the right amplifier with a more detailed and subtle sound character. But these JBL speakers will always do things with an extra degree of aggressiveness and agility. However, this 
is not necessarily a bad trait of fans of rock, metal and electronica. If that's the case, the JBL Arena 180 may be the perfect companion for an awesome musical experience. The next one in my favorite list is Pogue Signature S50 Float Standing Speaker. It delivers big sound without breaking the bank. As front speaker in a home theater setup or as stereo speakers for high resolution music, a pair of this tower will give you a real bang for your buck, serving up the clean, detailed sound. And their sleek, stylish look matters them a choice addition to your living room decor. The S50 is made with high quality material for natural, low distortion sound. Its cabinet house, a 1 inch high resolution Terlin dome tweeter for clear, detailed highs and realistic reproduction of instrument and vocals. Two highly efficient 5.25 inch dynamic balance woofer are made of lightweight yet durable mica enforced polypropylene non resonant medium density fiber board construction and anti diffraction magnetic grill provide an acoustically inert structure for reduced sonic interface books exclusively power port technology adds bass impact dynamic balance is a proprietary poke audio technology using lesser imagine to determine what combination of speaker material create the least amount of resonance eliminating resonance in speaker result in a wide smooth response and low distortion using just the right material enables spoke to eliminate uses eliminate issues that reduce speaker performance and tune out performance robbing resonances before they occur. Dynamic balance ensures a rich, clean, full range sound no matter what you are listening to. Poke Signature S50 Pro Standing Loudspeaker incorporates a dynamic balance to way driver array with 1 inch tweeter and two 5.25 woofers. The final product in this list is Yayamo S809. This floor standing speaker uses a 6.5 inch wide woofer unit and follow the best practices of contemporary sound engineering to achieve maximum performance. The configuration of three woofers extends upwards to merge with the tweeter. This design has many advantages. The main advantage is the diversity mode which reduces additional units interfer interference. It is more similar to the traditional two-way speaker unit while still maximizes the surface area and other drivers to meet more stringent bass output requirement. Each speaker uses low frequency reflection technology which makes them more malleable low frequency sound effect with this technology low frequency of Yamo S809 speaker can dive down to 37 hertz this is basically Yamo's flagship Dolby Atmos ready tower speaker it comes with three impressive 5 inch aluminized polyfiber woofer and a 25 mm which is one inch soft dome tweeter delivers an amazing acoustic performance each speaker includes a patent pending connection point atop the cabinet for seamless integration of s8 atm topper to deliver the overhead effect of dolby atmos the one inch soft toe tweeter provides smooth refined high frequencies with three five inch aluminized polyfiber woofer for balanced cinematic low end the integrated waveguide focuses the high frequency sound for dynamic true to life reproduction while the front firing tube port allows for better low frequency extension with placement flexibility that's about it for today's video please comment below for any question regarding these products would we'll be more than happy to answer those also like share and subscribe to my channel we'll come back to you with a new video soon thank you so much for watching till the end take a good care of you see you